Hi guys, so I just got a couple things in and one of them, um, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered it, but I'll show you in just a minute. Um, so I picked up some Tombow dual brushes just because I wanted to try them out. I've been trying out different uh, brush pens um, for watercoloring effect or you know, those kind of things with stamps. So I just tried these out. I got these on Amazon. I've seen them all over, you know, obviously Joann's and stuff like that, but the best price I saw was on Amazon. And you know, Amazon, they change it up and now sometimes it takes two weeks. These I think I ordered. I don't know, maybe five or six days ago. Um, but some bright colors, and then um, I think I have on back order a bigger set that has um, some really fun colors, so we'll see. But let me know what you guys think of your Tombos. Of course, people always um, seem like they love them. That's pretty much why I went ahead and ordered them. So this right here, I got a package from HSN. It, it wasn't a weird um, box. <laughs> I was like, what is this? It was like a white box. I've never really seen it that way before. And it was just an odd thing. And you yeah, know, no, it's from HSN. And talking about a weird box, like it crushed this thing. So yeah, it was just an odd shaped box that kind of just wrapped around this. Like if it was a book, you know what I'm saying? Like if you order from Amazon, just a book that comes in some weird box. Um, but this is the pop-up card dice. <laughs> and um, and I was like, well, let me check out the demo real quick. Because I didn't watch really too much of the craft day because it's kind of hectic and weird and the way they've been doing the, the things. I try to tune in when I know my diamond press is going to be on and stuff like that. But um, sometimes it's hard to do. And so I looked at the demo and I'm like, I don't know that this is my thing. Um, so I'm going to try it out. But I was really excited about this little swirly one. I thought, well, you could probably make this on your own. Or even, I know Cricut and some other uh, dyes I have cut a swirl like this. Because um, supposedly it's like a flower, which it's not. I mean, it's just, <laughs> if you were to use this for flower, it just has like, um, it just keeps going spiral, right? But it has no petals. It's just like a stylized flower. But I do have a die that looks like this. So I thought, well, I can use that and just stick one end down and stick the other end at the top and just the same kind of thing. Um, so when I looked at it, she really has a lot of papers, like to make the card work. And I encourage you to check it out on HSN um, and you'll see the little demo. And what I mean by this is that she always does five by sevens, right? So, or A6, I guess, is that five by seven? I don't know. Um, and so it seems like you need to do a five by seven and she does them long, right? So that they can open up. So I'm like, if you do it long, it has to be five inches wide and 14 inches long. So you can fold it in the half, right? Or in the half, <laughs> in half. And, um, I don't have 14 inch. Well, actually I do have some Cricut paper that was 12 by 24. It's like in the garage. I, that's the only paper I keep in the garage. Cause I always say, I always keep my paper with me because it's just huge. Like I, I don't really have another place to put it unless I just laid it out somewhere here. And, um, so then you have to stick two pieces of paper together, right? To get the 14 inches, so five inches wide and maybe one being seven, the other one being like eight and that sticks to the other side. So there's just a lot of matting and layering to do to make this work. And then this is another piece that you just layer on top. Maybe I can show you. So it's just, maybe you can see in the back of this one, like see all this blue, this extra blue piece, that's the piece for the mechanism. And then there's the blue of the card. And then you have to stick these two cards together to make it a five by seven that opens lengthwise. Um, again, here maybe you can see like she used the same base color for this. So it's just, it's, it's, I don't know. This one is probably closer to what I'm gonna make because uh, the other ones she has are like completely adorned and I'm like, I don't have enough. I mean, that would take like so many stickers to make it work. Um, so I'm gonna see what I have. So let's look at the dice because there are some that are more simple, I guess, because this is the one I was interested in. And then it has layers for your cake. Um, the background and then like a little just a little swirly die a little butterfly and uh, a candle for the top of the cake dies So that's one that makes like a swirly kind of thing. This cake one is probably the easiest one to use. I would think um, You put this right on the fold right of your cards so when you open it up this pops forward And you have these pieces of layers that you're gonna cut out and these tuck behind Okay, so let's say I cut this one out and it's like pink paper and this is white paper, I don't know. You would stick this behind this area and glue it down. And so then you see like a little bit of pink peeking out from these little decorations. And then this one is kind of another reason I like this set. Not so much the cake, but um, because it holds pieces like this. So it would pop out something you add here, something you put on there, and it's kind of like this kind of thing. So I'm gonna try to figure this out as far as how maybe it would look nicest. I don't know that I'm gonna make a long one like this. I think if anything, maybe I'll use this and use this, make it a square. Let me give you the measurements real quick because she basically didn't say anything about it to you. She said, she says, A6 and higher is what these will make. So these are four and <laughs> three quarter inches. Three quarter, sorry, four and three quarter, what am I talking about? Not quite a half, like 
three eighths maybe wide, but it's not the same height. Like the height, I'll measure the whole thing. It's about six inches high, but it folds here. So like your card, the top part of it would be about three and a half inches and then the extra two and a half are down here. Okay. Um, this one's a slightly different. The top four and an eighth inch are at the top and then at the bottom would be this extra two inches. Okay. And then this guy is a four inch square. Um, this is kind of interesting that it does have this mat. I was going to say, oh, maybe you don't have to cut it out, but no, you do. So I was, if this didn't have an edge, I think that would be better because you can cut it right into your paper and then use it, but it has an edge. So you have to use a whole separate piece of paper. And then um, there's this die for some reason. Okay, let me figure this out. Let me grab some paper okay, and we'll get so started. we're going to use this guy. Um, let me get both these pieces, I guess. That's all we're going to need for now. And I have an idea. It may work. It may not work. We'll see when we get there. <laughs> to kind of cover up that mechanism without having the paper just sitting on top. So I'm gonna make it a five inch square card and it may be that the five inch square card doesn't open up completely enough to do this swirl uh, justice, but we will see. So this is five by 10 piece of paper. Of course, we're just gonna fold it in half. This also means you have to decorate the inside completely and you have to decorate the outside of the card also, right? So that's the thing with pop-ups. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a lot going on. All right, so we have our five inch square card base. I took a green piece of paper that I'm going to cut this out of. And then, oh, you know what? I thought this was a five, a f this might not be a square. I just realized that, let me see, four and about a half inch by four inches. This is not a square. Bummer. Well, that's okay. Uh, I might have to just cut some of off of this. I had measured this and I thought, okay, four and a half inch square. So that's already an issue. Unless we kind of put it in here and don't really care that it's not completely matted so just know that this is not a square uh, i thought it was it looked like one. Oh well so i'm gonna cut this out on my marquee actually both of these dies will fit in your marquee um i don't know that the other ones would the bigger guys over there oh we gotta get this thing started i always have to kind of push the back here we go <laughs> I might have put my folder a little bit crooked. We'll see. I might have missed that last edge over there. Oh, no. I got it. I thought I missed this edge here. So here is our mechanism. Okay. Cut really nice and smoothly. Now, I am also going to cut these mats from this paper. And to be honest, it's just a triangle. Or <laughs> a triangle. A rectangle <laughs> but I have this Vookie button wild stack wildflower stack and I think what I'm gonna do is use this green paper that's on the back side of these pens so I hate to rip it out but I do need to take it out so I'm gonna take this whole thing out and what I would normally do in this situation is I would just cut it by hand because I don't you know these dies it's like okay but I'm gonna go ahead and let my uh, machine cut this I just want to see about we'll see I don't know I might as well just cut it by hand. Let's see. It's four inches by four and three eighths. Okay. <laughs> Which is odd, but okay. I'm going to use my guillotine. I'll be right back. So I just cut these by hand. So let me put this aside for now. So this is just literally the very base of the card. Oh, you guys, did you watch the video on how I made this? It's actually really cute. And I didn't realize the um, this paper pack or the style, what's it called? Floral something fantasy. Was it Enchanted Forest or something? It had its own dies that go along with that. I used the Enchanted Christmas ones. But um, that would have been cute because they had words like believe or magic. I don't know. Okay, so my idea was to go ahead and mat this up up here. And I think it needs another piece of paper still. It's too big, you know, with that five. Or, like I said, we can trim it down. Should we trim it down? Let me look at this again. Ugh, I just don't like it sitting out the way it is. Do, do, do. Yep, I'm going to trim off that bottom part. I just took about, I don't know how much off the bottom. So that's going to fit in there. It still kind of has a big edge, but <clears throat> so now it is 
well, I'll just measure for you guys, about four and a half inches by five, like we talked about. Okay, so this is my thinking and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna stick this down. Hey, it came with a little piece of die cut from something else, <laughs> like a little piece of paper came up with it. I'm gonna stick this here, try to center it. Again, it's kind of odd shaped card, but that's okay. So with this guy, what I was thinking is, why do we have to leave this green thing sitting up on top? So I'm gonna do something and it might work, it may not, I don't know, but we're gonna take this out and stick it here. Just so you know, there are instructions in here. Um, I remember her mentioning that. So as you can see, and yeah, she's just saying just to pull it up, obviously put your little adhesive there and then close your card and when it opens, it'll be in the right spot. Don't just take it and stick it somewhere. But what I want to do, and I was thinking might work, is to cover this piece by cutting it in half or where I need it to be cut so this works out. So I'm gonna look at this here. I'm gonna judge where this would be if I layered this on top of it. And basically it needs to be cut in half. Well, actually, we're gonna cover this up so it doesn't matter. So let's say it needs to be cut on this line. Okay, I'm gonna try to cut it evenly on that line. We will see what happens. Hopefully you guys are understanding what I'm trying to do here. So I just cut it right on that mark. And what I want to do is, I think this might work. And it might look funky, but at the same time, it all looks funky, right? If you just have all that stuff, all those papers down underneath, it looks funky. So what am I using this for? I don't like this one. <laughs> On my what on my papers uh, that's a tacky glue and sometimes it'll warp your paper that's all so again you're just sticking down this thing and I'm trying to kind of even that out but we don't have to I'm you know you have a little bit of movement a little movement time and what I was planning is that this piece goes here, like exactly where I cut it on this, that line. And then this one will go here, and now we've covered up that whole base, and it's not super obvious. <gasps> dun dun dun. I think I got it. You guys. <clears throat> now, I know Anna Griffin is a genius, but I'm gonna tell you right now, this, I think, is much cuter because it just covers that ugly base. <laughs> so, um, I think I got it. Oh my gosh. Okay. So again, don't, you know, make sure your paper is joined back together where it should be. And I'm going to work kind of quickly to get this down so I can, oopsie, there it goes. Oh, I'm so genius and I forgot to lift up this top part. Okay. And then this part. What do you guys think? I think that is really smart. All right, I'm gonna pick up this bottom part and put it here. And it meets up almost perfectly. I mean, I think you'd have to have a very keen eye to say, to look at it and think, oh, that's cut right there. Look at that. I mean, look how close, I mean, seriously, how close do you have to look to see that that's like that? Okay, now, my self-proclaimed genius here. I need to clean this up because the next thing we're gonna do is put adhesive. And I am, I'm gonna use a wet glue, even though I have to wait a minute for it to work. Let me show you, well, mm. basically if you put adhesive here, I'm gonna put a little piece. What you're gonna do is then just close this and that piece of adhesive will hold it right up. But I don't trust that, so I'm going to, Go ahead and take that off. Go ahead and put a wet glue. A little dab of wet glue. Not the biggest dab, I don't want it to leak out. So a very small amount of wet glue. And we have our adhesive tape there already, so that's gonna help it stick. And I'm just gonna close this. And like I said, not too much, cause then you're gonna, it might squish out and ruin your spiral. So now, in the meantime, I'm going to look for things to decorate this with, and I am super happy with that little discovery. Oh my gosh, it's the easiest thing and it covers up that ugly base. All right, okay. let's move on. So I went through um, 
this Vicky button pack and just picked out like the smaller items that would be in here uh, of die cuts. Really cute stuff. Oh man, I like this one. I always like this little spray. Um, so we'll see what we use from that. I do have some washi tape here too that goes along with it. And I cut down a piece of paper for the mat on the front that's basically um, four and three quarters by four and three eighths because that's basically what's going to fit here. So I'm just going to put this on here. Really pretty. Again, you know, you do your distressing or other things, however you like. I just, I'm, I'm not going to do it because all her die cuts have that white border. And I just feel like that's going to be so stark against the other stuff that was distressed, so I'm just not going to do it. But let's say that's going to be on the front. Okay, we're going to leave that alone for now because I don't know what else I want to put on here. And again, we open this up. I had that extra little glue. Remember that? Uh, there we go. That came from this. Look at that. I'm, I can't not... I can't not, I cannot see that very well. So, I mean, that's awesome. And that's kind of why I picked this pattern because it's kind of busy anyway. So people are really distracted with the pattern than more than anything else. Um, before I get started too much, I do want to put some little washi here and there just to be a little more artsy. So I'm going to open this up. I do like this one. It's always so pretty. Maybe some of that one. And this is completely, obviously, just something I'm... Oh man, I already tore it. Oy. I was like, oh, that'll be nice. I can use that nice strip on the top there. So we are gonna tire that. I'm gonna let it go off the side and then I will um, cut that piece off right at the top there. So you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just adding a little artsiness to this thing. And this one, I always like to keep it torn. It looks really nice. This one's interesting because it's very thick feeling. Kind of layer it a little bit on top of the other one. It's a little bit crooked, but it's washy, so you can readjust it pretty easily. So those two will be there. And where's my scissors? Just a little something. I'll probably put some down at the bottom too. And then I picked out all these little things. Even this, I figured, oh yeah, it'd be cute to put this in here, you know? But at the same time, I do need something on the front, so maybe I just put this on the front, um, and then when you open it up, it just has cute stuff, right? I don't know. Okay. So, we have a little feather. I did want, I was thinking maybe the mushroom could be there. That would be cute. Okay. I like the feather. It's just really big. I don't know how it's going to work out. Oh, no. I guess it doesn't have to. I can put the feather way in the back, huh? Okay, let's do that. And to make this easy, I'm gonna put the glue on the little apparatus here and then glue the feather down. Because if I put the glue on the feather, I won't be able to tell kind of where it goes or where it needs to go. So let's just hold that there. And you are gluing this underside, which is kind of odd. And she even mentioned that. She says you glue this way, not up on here. But you think it would be up on here, but it's not. It's on the back side or the underside, okay? Um, so it is kind of weird because you pretty much have to open the thing all the way up so that you can see what's going on. Little heart. Maybe over here. Little heart. Little heart there. And, of course, I need to have a butterfly on here. see what this looks like the butterfly over here I hear footsteps that means my kids are waking up early the day going to go up like at 5 4 I'm like go back to sleep it's mommy time I mean it's normally when I make my videos right yay bright and early all right here we got this one so this was much easier I'm really happy with this now that I've covered up that I just don't like the way the apparatus looks sitting on top I mean if you have to do it you have to do it but um, I just thought it was prettier not that way <laughs> So there's lots of different things here. Let me see. Oh, a little blue flower. Bring some blue in here. This will be the probably the last thing because I wonder if it closes. Let me see. It should close. <laughs> so I'm going to put this blue one up here. You don't want it to get stuck is what I'm trying to check. And what I mean by that is like, let's say I got really close um, down here. It might not want to lay down correctly. 
Okay, let's say that's there. And 3D glue gel for my little mushroom. <laughs> Since the little mushroom's down this corner, I mean, if I wanted to put washi, I guess I could put it anyway. I'll just leave it off. But you can put some washi here or somewhere, you know. Now I can't flatten this yet because of the 3D glue gel. I'm just going to squish it a little bit. But hopefully you can tell what's going on here. I'm going to obviously have pictures for you guys. I'll come back when it's dry because basically we're going to close it. And then when we open it up, all these little fun things are just there kind of hanging out. Super cute. Maybe I will put some washi over here. Something over here. <laughs> I guess you could just keep going with the flowers and different things all, uh, all around, you know. Little something, little heart tucked in there maybe. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, maybe I'll put these here. That's a lot of die cuts, <laughs> but um, super cute. Um, okay, so, and then I'll just stick this on the front with maybe like another flower tucked in the back. Okay, so no big deal on that one. So um, it has changed my mind. We know I looked at it and I was kind of disappointed because I'm like, what am I going to do with this? But it's actually pretty darn cute. So um, love covering it up. You can probably do something like that with the other ones. Uh, you just have to tuck it in behind, but it might be trickier. But like with this one, you know, it's going to be trickier because it has two staggers. So, you know what I'm saying? I, this other one is just cut straight across, but this one's cut here and cut here. So you can do whatever you like with your paper. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work out. You'd have to have three strips like here and then another piece cut here and then the piece that goes in the front. So that's up to you. Um, this one. Uh, yeah, you can probably do this one. Because this one would just need the piece that's going behind and then just like I did, right? Measure out however you need it and then cut it here straight across and it'll tuck under. And this one will tuck under... No, those aren't cut. Yeah, that would be hard to do because it would just have a lot of cuts, but it might work. So for me, it's just really this one. This is the one I was curious about that I really wanted to use anyway. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you all at the next one and uh, be well. Bye now. Okay, so I just finished it up. It's not quite dry, but I did do some 3D glue gel with that thing. And then remember I had used this to cut out a little aperture um, from my local King video uh, a couple days ago. So I just put that on there and she looks perfect. Like that is really sweet and the colors and everything go really well. And then when you open up your card, there it is. So I did want to come back and just chat about it real quickly. Um, very cute. Again, you have to look at it a certain way. Pretty much like this, you know, like if the person's looking at it this way. Um, because everything's kind of facing down, but you can't really decorate the top part. I mean, I guess it's what you want, but she said to decorate this part. I don't think it's going to look right if it's back here, you know? Um, I guess you could decorate both sides if you really wanted to, <laughs> right? But, um, I just went with the little heart. I did do some washi. And then when you close it up, it closes up. And you have all your little goodies in there. Really cute. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for sticking around. Sorry, I always come back and say a little something. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.